In this video, we will try to explore a few universes within the multiverse of humanity's future. We will see how well humanity will do in these very different universes. How far in the future can humans go? What are the technologies we will develop and what unknown worlds we will uncover? Shall we achieve immortality or uncover the true nature of our universe? Let's put on our seatbelts and commence this exciting journey fueled only by our imagination. Before we start, let's try to address the actual science behind our imaginary futuristic journey. The laws of physics that govern our world are very different from the laws governing the atomic and subatomic world. The way we can determine the position of something using X, Y, and Z coordinates is not possible for something like an electron. We can only estimate the probability of the electron occurring within a certain field of influence. In the classical sense, we can assume it to be at different positions at the same time or being in a superposition of all its probable positions. In quantum physics, this probability is given by Schrodinger's wave function. But when we try to actively determine the position of the electron, that is, when we observe the electron, the wave function collapses and an exact position in x, y, and z coordinates is revealed. Do note that observing in the classical sense is not the same as observing something on the quantum scale. By observing, we interfere with the electron as the light particles, or photons, are of a similar scale as the electron. The act of observation is also an act of interference in the classical sense. Nevertheless, observing destroys the superposition of the electron, and a single position is revealed. The probability of our observed position becomes a hundred, while the probability of all other positions goes to zero. But why does this happen? This is something that our scientists have not been able to exactly explain yet. This is called the measurement problem. There are various interpretations trying to propose a solution to the problem, but none of them has yet been accepted by everyone. No consensus has been reached yet. One such interpretation is the many worlds interpretation. According to this, the moment particles from the environment interact with the electron, decoherence occurs and the environment becomes a part of the wave function. In simplistic terms, as soon as we observe the electron, we become part of one of the superpositions with only one position observable to us in our environment or universe as you may call it. All the other probable positions still exist, but in their own respective universes. Thus, the act of observing has led to the branching of our universe into several other universes with all possible positions of the electron in the respective universe. This is the multiverse theory in the most simplistic terms. But what does it mean in our real observable world which is made up of these tiny atoms? In the real world, it will theoretically mean that infinite possible universes exist according to the infinite quantum fluctuations happening all around us. And unlike shown in movies, it is not a function of our decisions. We don't have universes with all possible outcomes of our decisions or actions. We have universes with all possible outcomes of quantum fluctuations. This may or may not lead to universes with different outcomes that directly affect us. We, or our decisions, are not at the center of anything. Now that we know the science, let's explore the multiverses of our human future. We will only focus on a few significant events in a few interesting universes. Let's go. Let's start our quest with the present universe of ours. Humanity has recently stumbled upon the power of AI. Everyone is using generative AI tools like ChatGPT, MidJourney, etc. to prompt AI models to create new compositions and perform very basic and preliminary tasks. Humanity is still decades away from creating an artificial general intelligence and achieving singularity. 
Due to a tiny quantum fluctuation, two different universes of our interest are created from our current universe at this point. In one universe, let's call it U1, due to a certain misjudgment or judgment on the part of an AI model overlooking a sensitive area. A catastrophic event occurs in 2052, killing about 20 million people. This leads to a very serious public discourse and protests around the world to govern AI development. The world reaches a consensus wherein the Barcelona Accord is signed by all members of the new United Nations. This accord gives birth to the Responsible Development and Governance of AI Organization, or ResDevGo, as they call it. In the other universe, let's call it U2, no such AI-induced catastrophe occurs. The world goes on as it is, and so does AI development. There is a race among nations to achieve AI singularity. In 2056, China achieves it followed by the US in 2060. The AGI seems to be benign and the world sees unprecedented levels of development. Humans become dependent on AI for almost everything. In YouTube, AGI has brought in an era of utopia for humans. It has systematically replaced all unsustainable systems with sustainable alternatives. Climate change and global warming have been reversed to a large extent. The economy has started to become equitable, as resource distribution has become equitable, and there is an abundance of almost everything everywhere. Humans don't have to do anything anymore. Everyone can just relax, recreate, and enjoy life. The nations are run by respective token governance bodies with a few elected humans making most of the decisions with the assistance of their national AGI. In U1, the actions of ResDevGo have led to the controlled development of AI. The development of AGI is strictly monitored and sanctions are imposed on any nation disobeying the regulations. As a result, although there is an upward trajectory of development in all areas, it hasn't been as exponential as it was earlier expected. Humanity is still struggling with issues like climate change, economic inequality, etc. In fact, climate change has taken a worse turn, with global average temperatures 3 degrees more than that in the early 21st century. This has led to devastating effects on many parts of the world. Another quantum fluctuation leads to the splitting of U1 into U11 and U12. In U11, the new United Nations has decided to take matters into its own hands after numerous agreements and accords have failed to arrest the deteriorating environment. A global emergency has been declared and for the next decade, all resources will be redirected to solving the climate crisis. Task forces are formed at national levels to enforce new environmental regulations and are given extraordinary powers. The majority of the world has come together in an unprecedented way. It was a hard task to convince the developed superpowers, but the ratification of the AGI development bill by ResDevGo in their favor in exchange for the share of power in environmental matters is believed to be a good deal a win-win for both. The developed powers, consisting of the US, the new EU, and the BRIC nations will get permission to start working on the development of an AGI collectively, while the new UN will get governance powers superseding the respective national governments in matters of the environment. In U12, things proceed as is. The new United Nations makes new amendments to the almost century-old Paris Agreement after observing the deteriorating health of the environment and rising protests from developing nations to take action, who are worse affected by the climate change catastrophe. But little happens in the ground and nothing changes concretely as the new UN lacks actual powers to enforce regulations. Global tensions begin to rise as large-scale migrations to the developed nations start happening. In U2, things have changed very drastically. The utopia we saw 400 years ago is nowhere to be seen. 
The Earth is unrecognizable with megastructures protruding from everywhere. Swaths of AI drones roam around the sky where birds should have been. The atmosphere has become thinner to the point where it is almost indistinguishable from space. All of humanity, which totals only about a few millions, resides inside a mega-domed city with an artificial environment. It's been a long time since the first robot wars of the 2200s when the Human Alliance was defeated in 2230 by the then AGI. Post that, the AGI had evolved into this super-intelligent entity, which had started transforming Earth into the way it looks now. No one knows what it is trying to achieve or why. There hasn't been any human resistance since 2435 when a small faction of human rebels, believed to be a remnant cult of the Human Alliance, were destroyed by the entity when it discovered their hidden base and learned about their potential to overpower the entity someday. The humans that are alive in the megacity do not know why the entity has kept them alive. They just go on about their lives, doing almost nothing and enjoying the life the entity has blessed them with. In U12, the Earth looks scorched. It has not started healing even after 200 years of the end of the Great War. It was the last of the major human events the world will ever see. The Great War did what World War III could not do. It brought about an end to the destructive powers of humans. When World War III started in 2233, the world was already on the brink of a collapse. With adverse effects of climate change, rising inequality and global tension between the superpowers already at their peak, the news about China's secret AGI was the last nail in the coffin. What started as a war between two superpowers quickly evolved into a 20-year war between nations. Although the world succeeded in destroying the AGI and subdued China and its allies into accepting the imposed restrictions and sanctions, the world was in a worse position than before, having aggravated the pre-existing crises. By the time the Great War had started in 2380, the world population had collapsed to drastic levels. This neo-nuclear war caused destruction in unimaginable levels. It was suicidal for both sides of the war. The post-war nuclear winter brought an already dwindling human population to the brink of extinction. Now, more than a hundred years later, humanity still struggles to survive and Earth has not healed yet from the hundreds of years of exploitation. In U11, things seem rather wonderful compared to the other two universes. The atmosphere seems to be the best with an almost perfect composition of air, equivalent to the pre-industrial era of medieval times. The controlled AGI under the supervision of the New World Alliance, the erstwhile New United Nations, has brought in an era of unprecedented technological progress. Humans have succeeded in almost doubling life expectancy with an average age of 160 years. Successful human colonies have been established on Mars and Europa. Traveling within the solar system for exploration missions and feasibility analysis for future colonies has started gaining traction. The AGI is working on complex problems like interstellar travel, understanding the nature of the universe and the safe utilization of genetic engineering to improve the quality of life. Genetic engineering, other than for permitted medical purposes, is still a highly regulated field, part of a set of regulated technologies that include the development of AI, quantum computing, cryptology, nuclear armament, and a few other sensitive fields. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed watching this video. In the second part of this video, we will continue our exploration beyond the year 2500 and up until the end of times. Thank you.